hey guys welcome back to my another video i came back with another rx uh, gx uh, videos and in this video i'm gonna talk about the other uh, try win and scan and delay on rx gx and i'm gonna use the angular for it and uh, if you guys didn't watch my previous video i have also uh, recorded a couple of the rx gx videos and i have really provided a really good example so if you guys are interested then you can watch that video as well and in this video i'm going to show you the uh, try when as you guys know already i already mentioned before so what is the try when and when should we use it right the main question is so basically here is a small app which i created and in this app here you can see the button here right so if i click this button what it really does it's, it's trying to call our api and if the api is false if API doesn't even work then it's trying to call a multiple times here right and it's calling try to call a five times and here as you guys can see it's calling a five times here uh, api i mean six times sorry <laughs> The sixth time here, the API, right? The first time when it's calling, then after that, it's going to call here a sixth time. But uh, still, when you get the error from the server, from service, then then you, you will provide the error message. Uh, Sometimes the service is on or it's fixed, then it will get a data here, okay? That's how it works. And I have created uh, the call here i'm going to show you the where is the code right here and i mystically write the of uh, the fake uh api there was uh, i mean not the fake api the error api uh url so that's why it doesn't give you data so basically this is the i use the api which is called bacon ipsum uh, you can use this for testing purpose to, to just to mock up the uh the apis so now I fix the uh, the URL there. So if I click it, then it's going to fetch a data and show it up here, right? If I fetch it, show it works. Of course, I it doesn't work before because I didn't um, put the right URL there. So that's why it give me a, a error. But it's trying to call like uh, multiple times, and after it fell, it's going it's going to give me an error. So what this all we're gonna build on this video, guys, and let's get started, I guess. Okay. Okay, so let me go to the, uh, let me go, hold on, let me, okay, let me go to the new branch, uh, let me go to the, get, I already created a branch for this, the blank branch, so let me go on that branch, which doesn't have this functionality, and this is a retry when, scan and delay which all everything gonna be used but to try when is, a, is the main thing what we're gonna we're gonna use on this video okay so i'm gonna go in this branch let me check i do have branch oh yeah i made some some changes here that's why it's complaining now okay let me do stats uh okay so now i don't i think i don't have any changes now so let me go yep i went that branch okay good so now I don't need this now. I'll just put it down hiding. So this is my new branch here. I don't have anything. I just have a template here, just like in some nav bars and some list. That's all. So what I'm gonna do the first thing is uh, I'm gonna show you the code here. Basically, this is the uh, HTML template, and here is a CSS, CSS, a little bit of CSS, custom CSS, which I wrote it down. And of course, I also use the uh, bootstrap just to make a life a little easier. So I added a bootstrap link. Oops, looks like I didn't add a bootstrap link. So I need to, uh, do I need to add? Yeah, I need to add some of the creating some button stuff. Otherwise, I need to write it down on my bootstrap, which I don't want, uh, not bootstrap, sorry, on my CSS there. It takes longer time. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab the uh, link here, uh, not CSS, get started uh what is a css right here so go back to my uh vs code make it bigger user and okay i saved the link here so now i'm gonna go back to the my browser here is it gonna broke uh, okay not bad it looks like the navbar is a little bigger but it's fine i don't want to worry about this uh, layout now the first thing is I don't want this, so I'm gonna remove this here, and I'm gonna just just type a test here, okay? So here it is, test. But container need container needs some padding margin there. 
otherwise uh, I couldn't able to see what's going on there so let me give the uh, margin y-axis 5 or margin top okay okay it's here I need to make fix some CSS here a little bit of CSS let me see I think I wrote the container class here yeah let me make this bigger like a 120 so I can see what's really going on okay I can see test here which is good okay so so far what we're gonna, we're gonna do is we're gonna create a button and we're gonna fetch this APIs okay on angular first and later on we're gonna add that functionality okay so let me add the button here so for button one I'm gonna grab the CSS uh, bootstrap button here and I can grab yeah I can grab any button you know what there is a spinner button which I, I want to use it here it is you can use spinner button uh, here it is so I will use the spinner button which one I'll use this guy so copy this and here it is and paste it here so now let's see how it looks like okay here it is I know it's disable it so I don't want to disable it so get rid of disable okay it looks good but still it's showing some spinner I can hide it using the um, NGE here in angular so let me use that first so let me go here and let me create this uh, is is busy or not something called is busy and is busy is going to be boolean right so the first thing is busy is false if it's busy is false then I don't want to show this right so ng if right and I'll just say that if the busy is true only gonna we show this guys okay if busy is true then only gonna show this not only show this but also the uh, also the this loading bar here in the bottom so so if it's busy is true then show this now it doesn't have anything okay if busy is false then uh, if busy is false then we can show the uh, uh, fetch data I guess fetch fetch data and I don't want to show this spam here so now the busy is false that's why we are saying that okay fetch data so but if I click it if the busy is true then we can see of uh, instead of loading maybe I should write a fetching fetching data okay fetching data okay good now let me add some HTTP uh, client uh, modules so that's why I can use that to call the API okay so it's called HTTP client modules and I need to import this from the uh, angular itself. angular has this uh, class here on angular angular slash common slash HTTP HTTP folder okay and in HTTP client modules now we could able to create a service uh, yeah I think we could create a service here in a different and we can call that if we like or we can directly use a service here you know what I'm gonna directly use a service here I'm not gonna create another one it's better to create another one but this is just demo so uh, I'll just create a service here a uh, service uh, not service directly called the HTTP client here so http cli in the client http client okay so now i do have http client so i can get a data so basically it's a, just a get data function here so this get data is http call dot get and we could provide a url here for the api which is this guy so i'll just copy that and i'm going to go back to vs code and and put it here okay can I make this a little bigger? Let's see how I okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? It's too big. I can't even see it. So okay, so now this is good. So now I'm getting a data here. So constant data. Okay. So this will give me the uh observables of the object that is going to return it. And uh, yeah, and we can use inside the try and catch if we like. Uh or or we don't have to use try and catch i mean this is observable so we can get data dot subscribe we can do a subscribe here and subscribe of course we could get a rest here right response so if i do a rest then save it and i will show in console what happened 
yep nothing will happen now because the get data is not been called so i need to use this get data function to the button so that's why i need to go here and this is my button here and i'm gonna cre create the event here called click click event and i'm gonna use that to get data functions okay so now if i click the button it should give me a data here which is good i got the data perfect which looks great now i just want to show this data so basically uh, i'm going to create something called data and this is going to be what array of string that's what is going to return on response i believe so i'll just put this uh, data as an array as a string and uh, the first data is empty nothing and in the later on we're gonna change the reference we're gonna change this the, the pointer of the the, the 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 temporary array what we have to this guy i know it's complaining here because it doesn't know what what this is going to return and we, okay we'll tell that okay this is going to be array of the string which is exactly what you're looking for okay so let me do this and i got the data here so let me loop that data also here in a list uh, i can provide in a really good list uh booster has a really good list here list group where which we can use it right here so i'll just copy this and paste it and no need this everything here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use what ng4 for loop this data and this is let dot what is the data name call i provide something called data data okay n which is going to be my data here of data okay so this is going to loop here and i will put the data inside here looks good so now let's see what happened if i go it if i click the fetch okay we got the data here perfect but this data is coming to here and this is coming to here why looks like i didn't even save it well so now let's see if it doesn't work then yep it does work here of course the jet index of this nav bar is uh, for css is bigger but anyway we have a data here which is good right which is good which is what we're expecting but now if the api failed then we have to use a couple of these things the first thing is let me let me do the of uh, the padding here uh, for top so now if i refresh okay i can see good i can see good let me let me write the status here as well let me create the status here and for a paragraph let me create the status here what is this is this will tell me that what is the status of it it has no data or it has a data or it has an error stuff like that okay now it's still no data if i click it still have no data because it's not binding with anything yet so the first thing let me create something called status here as well so let me do status the first thing this is going to be a string nothing else so the the first initial status would be a no data so i'm gonna use this uh here as a no data status and basically this is going to be no data but whenever i trying to call this data right here so i'm gonna do a status this dot status here this status has uh when uh, is done then i'm going to use a uh, status as success okay so now no data now is success right so now is success already if i click multiple time of course it's going to tell me a success here and if it's false something then if it's a error or something happened then of course we could also able to add an error here right uh, error on our call back here and we can do of course this the status has a error occur something like that if the if the if the api is broke let me see if the api is, is a fall or broke down okay i'll just change the api here so now if i click it now error occur or something like that right e error just say error and let me change the a little bit of color here as well of course we could able to change the color here uh such as uh, if uh status and here we could use as a, as a span here oh hold on here let me do span span right and i i could do uh, uh here ng ng class there are multiple ways of the class oh not ng class and ng class 
there are multiple ways of the style or class what you can use it but there's an ng class which you can specify and we can tell that if this guy the status is equal to uh, success right success then then show then add a class called text uh, something called text success I believe text s u c c e s text success and of course I need to use a uh, here and if is uh, if is uh, not the success then use a text as a danger which could be given a red color so basically I'm just adding some CSS uh, style here class uh, okay did I do something wrong yep I did uh, let me check did I close this nope okay good now so let's see so now if I click it okay no data what if I refresh of course it's a refresh no data but if I click it error no data right I mean the color is uh, red and uh, let me fix this APIs now right let me fix this APIs so if I fix this APIs now if I refresh if I click it then if I click it then success of course right if I click it then success let's give me uh, the green uh, the color as a green in the font okay which is good so now let me add that the retry when something like that retry when and uh, scan and delay so now the API is called really fast so I want to make this little delay okay this is this API is really fast uh, so I'm gonna call this little delay so I can see what's really going on so basically we will make that delay a little bit of delay like one second so after one second this API is going to call and delay is also the one of the operator which we need to import from RxJS so I will import that delay right from R RxJS operators up OP uh, operators okay so now I have a delay so after one second it's going to call uh, refresh this so it doesn't call now after one second it's going to call and give me a data which is good so now let me add a retry when stuff like that so now here we got the data and in a pipe we could able to chain here so before I go to retry when I want to show you guys how the retry work so basically there is an operator called retry and retry will we can assign then how many they should call if I tell like call like five times then it's going to call up five times right that's how the retry work so now if I go to the uh, console here and if I fetch a data then of course it's work now so it doesn't call or retry at all so I want to broke the URL here so now let's see what it really does okay so if I click and fetch then it's already going to call up five times and of course it give me an error it doesn't give me an error here delay before it, of course uh, it's trying to delay first time and retry after that five times right so that's why it's trying to call as a five times here so that's why uh, of course it give me the, it's called a five times and already give me a error so this is the one of the functions what we can use or to try uh, to, to try or multiple times but there is another one what we can use is a try when and in a, when you try when we will get as a notifier we will get the error of the observables here on this error we can also able to do a chain in here so what we can do and retry when is basically in an error we could able to add a pipe here right and in a pipe we could able to uh, uh, use the uh, of course we could make this as a little bit delay let me do a little bit of delay right so delay as a one so now let's see what happened okay so now it's trying to retry when it's give me an error and I'm just delaying as a one second see what happened now if I click it here each and every of the one second it's going to call the APIs which is good but it's not going to stop it because it's every time it's trying to retrying it to calling this APIs but we need to tell when it's going to stop right and to, to do a stop we need to use a scan operator so in the scan what we can get is uh, in the scan operator basically we will get as an accumulator 
and we will also get as a seed and seed is optional we don't have to provide anything for seed one so we will provide a zero and the first thing is we will get as an accumulator we will need, need, need a function here okay so in a function what we need to provide is uh, we will get the here the uh, retry count we will get the count here so c o c o u n t count and if i print this retry count here okay if i print this retry count here turn this retry count every time when we get it so i will just return it so right so basically now it really does it is trying to call a multiple calls of again but it's trying to print how many it does here so so now i'm going to show you what it really does so i'll just refresh my applications here okay so now when i click the fetch data it's going to call again and again but we will not know that okay it's zero is printing right here and retry count right so what we can do so now we can create a small functions here so basically what it really does it's going to increment this retry count okay so what we can do is what we after not before it return what we can do is we can do a retry count and if the retry count is greater than five right if it's greater than five then then we can we need to throw a error here okay throw a error okay e r r o r throw a error but if is not the uh, uh, retry count else then what we can do is we can do retry count is equal to retry count plus five not five sorry plus one right so now it's going to increment every time here and after increment every time here what we can do is of course uh, we could able to uh, uh, block the error right here right so now let's see what happened so now if i click the fetch data so it's going to call again and it's going to increment our thing right and after five it's going to stop it it's not going to call so that's how it's going to work so now we could also able to write the status here because we already created the status field here so what we can do is every time it's going to scan here so it's trying to increment this right so what we can do is it this does status we could able to to here the the uh, attempt right attempt at attempting attempting and and, and we could uh, uh, write down the or uh, retry count how many times is attempting to uh, or we can see or uh, re-attempting attempting something like that okay so now let's test it out if i click a fetch data so now it's re-attempting again maybe re-attempt would be better so just do a re-attempt right it's trying to re-attempt here how many times trying to call so if i click it here so it's trying to call it right it's re trying to re-attempt it two three four it's trying to call it five times and if it doesn't go through then it give me an error so this is how we can use a uh, retry when of course we could use a retry but in retry it does re it just done the uh, retry we can able to print any message so we need to use a retry when to print some matches to the user so user can see it, what's really going behind this scene so I, I hope you guys learned something new and i'm gonna put this code inside the uh uh, github and please let me know if you guys have any questions and please do subscribe and like my channel if you guys learn something thank you very much guys for watching my videos and bye for now